Hello and welcome to the 24th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a regular shape. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML provides great functionality to render regular polygons such as squares and triangles. There is a particular class for this like rectangle and circle shapes, but instead it uses a circle shape but in is initialized with different parameters. You can create any equilateral polygon by specifying the radius and the number of sides. You specify the radius as circles um, in SML are just polygons with loads of sides, aka points. Because you may have noticed when we did do circles, if you didn't set the point count or you didn't increase your I should say, it didn't quite look circular and that's just because it just used loads of sides. So, and that way you can simulate triangles and squares and so forth. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Okay, so firstly what we're going to do is create a triangle to do that. Like we said, you use circle shape, then you know, they then a triangle shape and uh, within SFML and then you just name it. I'm gonna put it polygon, set its radius, I'm gonna put 300. I'm going to put now comma three. So this means the shape has three sides. I'm gonna draw it to the window now. So window dot draw. And now you just specify the shape you're trying to draw. Let's run this application. Okay, now we have a triangle as you can see. If we change the three to a four, we'll get a square. As you can see, we now have a square. Those look it sort of looks like a diamond, it is actually a square. If we change the 4 to a 6, for example, we'll get a hexagon. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. And finally, it's going to show you changing the number 6 to 8, so you get a octagon. So there we go, we have an octagon with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 So This is equilateral as well. So that's the way you can create regular sorts of shapes. That is it for this part of the series. In the next part, we're going to be looking at adding a convex shape to our window. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.